Applied kinesiology is based on Chinese medicine and the acupoint system. Uh, basically what happens is that there are different acupoints that are pressure points in the body and they're very similar to power stations for electricity. And the way that we think and the way that we feel is that we transfer electrical, um, electromagnetic energy from one acupoint to the next. A river or a series of acupoints is called a meridian. There are a number of different meridians in the body. And essentially, if all those meridians are running smoothly, then the body is as self-healing as it possibly can be. If there is any kind of obstruction, then what happens is that the body can't heal itself as well as it normally would. So what people with um, Eastern medicine leanings would do is they would take a uh, needle and put it in one of the acupoints to balance out the system, or tap it, or rub it, just like masseuses would, or take a laser to it just to reestablish that homeostasis. Applied kinesiology is um, muscle testing that is based on the uh, acupressure system. And what I'm going to do today with the help of Stephanie is to show you a little bit about how the, your electric body works with muscle testing. Muscle testing is incredibly effective, but it's both a science and an art form. You have to be very careful about how you muscle test. And because I'm a psychotherapist and came to muscle testing late, I'm probably more conservative than most people with it. So the first thing that you have to look at is that if polarity isn't appropriate, then you cannot get good uh, muscle tests. And it has, the polarity has to be good on both sides. Now essentially, the main meridian in the body is the central meridian that goes from here up to uh, here, and the governing vessel, which comes from the back all the way around the head to here. And if the energy, electricity, or chi is going up, then these two points should be strong, and the polarity point should be weak. If that's happening for both the um, uh, operator and the person who you're working on, then the electricity is running the right way and you can get good results. So there are several different ways that you can assure polarity. One is to wear a wristband, very similar to this one. This is essentially a piece of metal that has been manufactured to make all the protons run in one direction. Therefore, if you put it on your skin, all of your protons run in one direction. And that reestablishes appropriate polarity. Now, the difficulty is that this was uh, made specifically to fix ADD. It does not. But what it does do is it changes polarity so that you can get good readings. Uh, that is one way to make sure. So I almost always wear a band to be sure that I'm running the right way. However, if you put a finger right at this acupressure point and here, and above and below the belly button, and rub hard this way for about 30 seconds, that establishes good polarity as well. So I've got the band on, so I should be in good shape. I'm going to do a muscle test with Stephanie. If you could give me your uh, right arm. What I'm gonna have her do is hold her arm out. I'm gonna ask her when I say lock, to lock the arm from here to here, and to breathe out. Don't grab the muscles in the chest or the abdomen because it recruits muscles and you get a false positive or negative. So I'm gonna put my hand above her wrist because if it was on her wrist, it would go down too easy. And I'm gonna ask her to hold, breathe out, and lock. 
and just without any other touching, her arm is running uh, fine. So the electricity is going all the way to the back of the brain. I'm gonna be able to get good, um, valid uh, muscle testing. And so we're gonna check the polarity next. Can you put the arm down for a second? You take a lot of breaks so that the arm doesn't get a fatigue factor. Give me a strong arm. Stephanie, if you could just touch the two points right there. These are called the K27 points, kidney meridian 27th acupressure point. Breathe out and lock. And if that is strong, it suggests that she's running the right way. And if you are running the right way, the prefrontal cortex is on and the right side of the brain sends messages to the left side of the body and the left sends it to the right. And that's the way that we're made so that we're getting good testing. Give me a strong arm if you would. I'm gonna check the polarity point with Stephanie. It's gonna be right above the nose and my finger has to touch right here dead on to really make the effective connection. Breathe out and lock real hard. Now, that was a strong muscle and it shouldn't have been. The polarity uh, should have gone down if it was correct. Now there's a lot of different reasons why that could happen. Uh, fatigue, tired, sick, lack of water, or attention deficit disorder. So with applied kinesiology, you can take vitamins, foods, uh, supplements, and medicine and challenge the body to see if it reacts in the appropriate way to tell you whether that is needed. You can do it right through the clothes as long as it's not silk, and you can do it right through a glass bottle. Now many uh, therapists put the bottle right here at the stomach. I don't think that's quite as accurate as putting it right here, which is the electrical part of the body. Now it would be if she drank this and then we tested and the arm went the appropriate way, it would tell me at the 95% level of accuracy that this would be helpful for her. If she smelled it, 90%. But if we put it right here at the 85% level, uh, that's good enough. So that's what we're gonna do. If you could take that, put it right here, strong arm. And I'm gonna touch right here, breathe out and lock. And you see how that goes down. Take it off your body, breathe out, lock just as hard. And it's strong again. Go ahead and put it back up. Breathe out, lock hard, and that goes down. That is essentially a full, foolproof diagnosis for ADD. It's some, uh, a muscle test that I discovered several years ago. We've taken uh, the information based on that to the Amen Clinic and done um, tests. This is a bottle of AdCare, which is a natural supplement that deals with symptoms similar to ADD and ADHD. Um, so that is one of the ways to find out if there is ADD. It's also helpful to get a SPECT scan, S-P-E-C-T, or to do um, written tests as well, but this is very, very effective. Now, what's important is if I was gonna check any other uh, points on Stephanie, I would have to make sure that she's running the right way first, because if she's running the wrong way, which she is, all the electrical responses are reversed, so I can't get good reactions. If we take this, and I'm gonna have you put it right there, strong arm, breathe out, lock, it goes down right away. So I can test the rest of her by just putting it on her wrist. Give me a strong arm, lock hard, good. And now we can go ahead and test anything else. So I'm gonna show you the other areas on the body that um, correspond to different neurotransmitters.